Well, the jaguar is the largest cat in the Western Hemisphere, and pound for pound believed to be one of the strongest cats in the world. It's a highly endangered cat. It's incredibly elusive, uh, very rarely seen even by experts, by zoologists who go to the jungles to find them, rarely ever see them. Well, in Central America, because of population explosion, agricultural explosion, um, things like farming of livestock. They're, they're farming so many areas, so much of this rainforest, tropical forest area is being destroyed at such an alarming rate that though there are protected areas or isolated areas, you know, an adult male jaguar needs 50 square miles of undisturbed forest to really survive. So just because you have a 30 square mile area to the public might seem, oh, it's a beautiful park. It's not enough to sustain one jaguar. So when we start fragmenting all these areas, which is happening throughout Central and South America, you start making it impossible for this animal to survive. And what happens is it starts going out to a farming area and starts taking things like cattle. Then all of a sudden it becomes this pariah where it has to be destroyed and every jaguar is a bad thing because it's threatening my livelihood and my cattle or even a threat to my children. And this is becoming a huge conflict that is leading to the, to the absolute extinction, I believe, of the jaguar if it continues. You know, it's the old rivet theory on a plane. A plane could be flying, one rivet falls off, it's okay. Another rivet falls off, it's okay. Another rivet falls off, all of a sudden the last river and the wing falls off and the plane crashes. And that's the analogy. When you look at an environment, you start losing species here, a species there, a species there. All of a sudden, that entire environment collapses and none of us, including humans, can really effectively survive. We won't be able to grow any crops. We won't be able to maintain any livestock because we don't have the health of the environment we need.